Hey guys, welcome to our video for simonsvideo.com and my name is Simon Tay and today I'm going to show you how you can install Flappy Birds if you have not installed Flappy Bird previously and now has been taken down and how you're going to play it on your iPhone and Android phones. Uh, first off, there's uh, a couple of methods. First method is go to the Safari, right? Go to Safari and tap in flappy.im. Yep, this is the browser-based version of the Flappy Bird, which you can uh, play on your Safari, just like that. And uh, it's, it's exactly the same uh, as the previous Flappy Bird. Ah, and I died. <laughs> and the good thing is you can, you know, as you can see, want to download this game, just tap this at the bottom, the center part of the screen, and then add to... Uh, the home screen you can see the plus sign add to home screen and the, the name is uh, very conveniently named Flappy Birds for you and press add and the good thing about that is once you add that to your home screen it looks exactly just like an application and once you press on it it opens up just like an application would full screen Flappy Birds exactly like yep, there you go Flappy Birds and this is uh, exactly like the Flappy Bird that you played uh, if you have installed it. So this is just like, a, I, will, I will not call it a hack, it's more like a browser based game. And you can just play <laughs> and I die. And there is advertisement as well. I guess someone is earning a lot from this uh, Flappy.im website with a, a little bit of advertisement on the top side. The second way you can download Flappy Bird is go to your app store and you notice when you, if you have uh, purchased or downloaded flappy bird previously you when you press the update version uh, press the purchase on the top side and not on this iphone uh, you can actually search for flappy bird yep you can see flappy bird is actually in your icloud if you have purchased before that means that if you have your friends uh, or family members that have downloaded Flappy Bird before uh, and you can actually use their Apple ID and download Flappy Bird from their iCloud. So how you're going to do that is you go to the feature option, feature option, scroll all the way down and then press your Apple ID and sign up from the Apple ID, sign out. And you go to ask your friends to sign in their Apple ID. Right, so I'm not going to show you my Apple ID so I'm going to cut it here and once you have signed in your friend's Apple ID go to updates purchase and search for Flappy Bird search and then download from there Apple actually allows application that can be installed using multiple Apple ID so you can in theory use your friend's Apple ID and download application that they have purchased before. The one downside is once there is an update, you need their passwords to update that particular application. Uh, however, in the case of Flappy Bird, Flappy Bird has been taken down, assuming this is not a marketing ploy uh, and re, uh, reactivate the Flappy Bird. You do not need to update Flappy Bird again. So by doing, uh, asking your friends to, uh, you know, log into the Apple App Store and download Flappy Bird. Uh, that application will remain in your device uh, without needing your friend's uh, Apple ID and password anymore. So this is one way that you can actually get Flappy Bird on your iOS, uh, you know, just like that. And there you go, you can play the Flappy Bird <laughs> on your iPhone. And how do you install uh, the Flappy Bird into your Android devices. Simply go to the browser in your Android devices and search for this keyword Flappy Bird APK. APK file is the application for you to actually install into your Android devices. Try to find a reputable uh, website to download this APK file uh, because a lot of APK file is actually uh, you know infused with a lot of malware. So 
take note of that install antivirus if you have to uh, I've actually downloaded from the XDA developer website uh, this particular file once you download in your Android devices it will be in your um, your download folder uh, but first you need to go is go to the settings and go to the security and uh, you know check this checkbox that you need to uh, check it uh, that you can actually allow installation of application from unknown sources this way that you can actually install the party application but be careful of uh, checking this because sometimes uh, you might be installing malware so go to the astro go to file manager and uh, you know op is open up the download folder and install flappy bird uh, by accepting this uh, you actually allowed uh, flappy bird to you know install into your devices and after that Flappy Bird is installed. It's that simple. This is the original uh, Flappy Bird, I believe, uh, but it, it is uh, exactly the same as the original Flappy Bird. But in order to actually save your score and see the leaderboards, you need to uh, actually log into your Google Plus account. So do take note that if you're installing third party uh, you know, application, they, they might be able to access your Google Plus uh, information and your friends and all that and share on your behalf of uh, like say the leaderboards uh, like how, how, how much scores you have so to take note of that and basically that is how you install uh, Flappy Bird onto your Android devices and here I am actually sharing uh, looking at all the high scores that is on my friends in Google Plus and basically that's how you install Flappy Bird after uh, the developer has taken down the application right so thank you very much for watching Simon's video have a nice day see ya bye bye well basically that's it for this video remember to like comment share and subscribe and check out the previous video and the app bounty ultimate bounty hunter giveaway event that give away uh, Xbox one and iPad mini and lots of gift cards and remember, the more apps you download from AppBounty.net, the higher the chance you will be able to win. And of course, the event will end at the 5th of March and announced at the 7th of March 2014. And basically, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. See ya. Bye-bye.